<laughs> and and first of all, I I don't go to the gym like that. I go to the gym, but I don't know as much as you. Right. But my Riz is ten out of ten. Have I have you seen <laughs> have you seen me fail? Have you seen me fail? Uh, no, because you never try. I do. Not. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Give me an example. And when I do try, Give I'm a hundred. You, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, don't forget to like, oh, comment, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. Five Amazon, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon. Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Patreon. If you guys haven't subscribed to Patreon, what are you guys doing? What are you waiting for? Exclusive content. Carl naked. For real. Like kind of. Half naked. Partially. Half, half Not half really. Way. But uh, no, but in all seriousness, Patreon is where you guys get exclusive content, an extra episode on Fridays, early access to these episodes on Monday, and um, tier two and three helps us towards our charity, yes, sir. revolving around sports, helping kids stay mm -hmm. off the streets and keeping them in after school programs revolving around sports. So if you guys want to help us out, Patreon forward slash Sergio Talks is where to go. It's on the gang. How much would someone have to pay you for you guys to eat a rat? And I know your low ass standards gonna say a hundred dollars. Did you see how he reacted? Yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, low ass standards, bro. Ready for it, bro. <laughs> yeah, Yo, damn. what's your what's your a uh, rap for a hundred bucks? Like for like like a thousand bucks? No, no, you're doing like it for a hundred bucks. <laughs> I feel like he do it. Like, for how big jokes. is a rat for a hundred bucks? It's a, it's the, the, a New York, the New York, York rat. rat, New York rat. No, 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 no. Like, yeah, no, yeah, hundred bucks. Th like, <laughs> <laughs> we can say that um, Carl has officially the record for the punching oh thing. my god bro mm, yeah how was that i wasn't there yo it, 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 i knocked uh, what's the the, what's the name bro? of this you know you know, the, when the, you, you know the punching machine and then you bring to like test the test your strength yeah, machine yeah, bro that shit was I'm so basically you guys went to the arcade the other night the first time i hit it though 280 the max is 999 bro. i hit it and i hit i did 250 bro and the exact like, same punch, you know what he bro. did? Yeah. Whatever, he did it a thousand times, and now he has a record that is on the thing, and uh, trying to beat it, 983. Bow. That was a nice one, bro. I came in, bro. Bow! Knocked the motherfucker out. Okay. Um, topic. Topic. Before we start the topic, oh, shit. I have a video that could be like, you know when you go to the club and you're like, yo, let's hit some shots to have a vibe before we start going to the club? Mm. Well, this video is pretty much the same thing. So like, we'll like to get hyped? Yeah. Uh, not Whose phone, 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 phone was that? Whose phone was that? Whose phone was that? I don't know. <laughs> you know it's, all, it's open, so you can see it. It's not open, it's turned on. T turn, turn off the volume. <coughs> and put the screen face down. <coughs> down. Thank you. You were saying? Uh, so it's, no, it's it's not necessarily gonna hype us, but it'll, it'll definitely you know tequila so, shot so burns. It'll, it'll I don't like, I don't like this. Like, show, just show, like just show the video. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just it started strong, right? Fuck. I was having uh, I was having a good day. Want me to put it there? Do, go and watch history. It's fine. What is where is that? Yeah, he missed. He lost it. And boom. fuck. Oh. Ah, da. Okay. So just just do up. I've cheated plenty of times in my life, by the way. But I'm a reformed cheater. I've never I would never do it again. So never again. Never again. Sometimes if it's gonna be a one-off thing mm -hmm. and you sleep with someone one time and then you'll never cheat again and like you don't ever talk to that person again. So as a reformed cheater. <laughs> it's not. It's a that, little bit different. That's acceptable? <laughs> no. It's not acceptable, but like it's more understandable. I don't know. I kind of think everyone deserves a one-time cheat in their relationship or marriage. So um, it's safe to say you're going to cheat again. <laughs> Not when I have a ring on it. What about engaged? You're just engaged. You're engaged for a year. That's a gray zone. Yeah, I know. But once it's marriage, it's done. Okay, and, so, and I so so engaged. So that. you're engaged. You're it's still it's still on the table for you. The the one time cheat. It's yeah. called the one time cheat. There's no emotions. It's like you never hear from that person again. Oh, fair enough. But when you're married, absolutely not. Got it. Unless you're ten years into it. Oh gosh, I mean, you have then... so many so <laughs> many outs here. No no no. This is what I think. Okay, ten years in. 
we're bored. Let's like either do a threesome or like let's have an open relationship or you know. Well, it's a conversation with you and your husband. Yeah. Maybe he's down for it. Maybe he's not. What, well, if, what if he? What, what if he's not? Then we'll have to figure something out. But I won't cheat. I will not cheat. Okay. Maybe divorce. <laughs> <laughs> A uh, ten-year relationship, but if it's not, we could have a threesome. And if it's not a threesome, you, we better be engaged. And if we're not engaged, I could still do it. Like what, bro? A one-time cheat? That's a pass, bro. What the fuck is that? I'll put my hand in the fire that like he can't do it. Only her. Oh, I'm sure. for real though. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure. Like, oh, I she was... could cheat one time, but the guy. Oh no, you can't cheat on me. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, A one-time cheat. That, that's what cheat. It's like a pass. It. And yeah. also 10 years, sure. right? Right. Yeah. And then engage is like, the, the, it's the, gray zone. It's no, a, no, but I could also zone. do the same thing. I could shoot and kill someone, but I get a one-time kill someone pass. That's, that's fair. Up. Fair that's enough. Cool. You know what I mean? Fair enough. That's fucked up. Where, Where are, are we, bro? bro? And she, like, she's, like, she's obviously, I don't know who she is, but she's obviously someone who's on social media, probably yeah, has a yeah. platform, and she's spreading that kind of mentality. Mm, that's crazy. She even gave it a name, the one-time cheat. It's called the one type cheat. As bad as like kids see this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like they're learning from this, you know? One type cheat, bro. Who, who, who? It's the fact that she said, I've cheated plenty of times and I'm a reformed cheater. But right? now I can one time reformed. cheat. As if she had that. to go to, like, to therapy to no longer cheat. It's like you either you do or you don't. No, but now she has rules. Yeah, now she she's enlightened. Yeah. Now, now it's she, like you can cheat, knows. but only one time. <laughs> And gray zone is okay, gray zone. and 10 years after the marriage. Yeah, so if you've been with a person for 10 years, it, no cheating. You know, yeah, yeah. If you, the ring is on it, so if you're married, no more cheating. Uh, but if you're still engaged, you could still cheat. If it's no, if it's a one year engaged, whatever, you could still uh, cheat. Divorce. So yeah. imagine it's, it's like nine, nine years and like 11 months, and then you see your, your wife be like, oh, another month. Oh, fuck, I got, no, I got one month left to cheat. No, one no, because it's ten years not cheating, so it's nine years and eleven months. Imagine oh. if you see her, and she's like, "Can this month go by, please, man?" So I can suck some dick. I can be bent over by someone else. But think of but think of it like this. Let's say because like obviously you know guys and girls cheat, right? But let's take let's take her for an example, right? The man goes out of his way, right? You know, has taken down notes, knows what kind of ring to get, goes out and buys a ring, saves up money for the ring to get engaged to this person. And this person is going into the relationship to get married, thinking that she's allowed a one-time cheat pass. Meanwhile, the guy is going out, you know, saving some money, putting in some extra hours maybe, you know, yeah. putting in the money aside in order to get the ring. Meanwhile, this girl has a mindset of having a one-time cheat, meaning... meaning Sucking another guy's dick, getting bent over, getting clapped. The dick slips out. She puts it back in while a guy is out there shopping for his Mrs. Wright's ring. Why you have to do that? I had to because that's the image, bro. Why you have to say that? Am I wrong, though? And then she redo the... <gasps> yeah, and when she puts it in, it's the... Gasp. The... <gasps> I'm getting engaged tomorrow. It's like, What? Don't tell my boyfriend. The husband. So yeah, See? topics. Now we can we can talk now since we're the tequila just went down. This is so messed up, bro. I for, I I blacked out. I don't remember what the topics are. Uh, well, I mean, I typically before you move in with someone, you have to first meet someone. Mm -hmm. right? Right. So let's start there. So and then there was somebody else that wanted to know about like somebody who's like overly involved in social media. Some like a guys that are like overly subscribed and like you know a Instagram girls, feeds, whatever. OF, and a bunch of all the other stuff. So I think we could start out to say that if you are someone, if you are a guy, particularly primarily. Um, if you are, you know, like fantasizing, over glamorizing people on your Instagram feeds, liking bikini pictures, subscribing to OnlyFans, jerking off to porn, basically anything that has to do with girls that you will not encounter in a face-to-face yeah, -face yeah. interaction. I think you got to kind of like reassess yourself if you're actually trying to find a serious relationship and you got to put yourself actually into the real world and practice actual social skills. Uh, learn to become articulate, not like me because I stutter all the fucking time. <laughs> me too. But uh, but yeah, if the, the only way you're gonna be able to meet someone, yeah, you could do the DMing route for sure. Mm -hmm. It works, but that's like cold calling. You know, if you're like Same. working at a call center, a, like I got a call center. Remember what I said? Be articulate. Um, it's like working at a call center, right? If you're if you're doing 
a thousand phone calls, you'll get a couple of hits, right? But you got to put in the work to make those a thousand phone calls. Mm. Man, that's a lot. Because you get <coughs> rejected a lot. A thousand, bro? For sure. You get left on scene. The message has not been opened up. Um, so you're better off just, you know, you know, getting like, you know, picking up on your social skills, going out there in the real world, get into bars, you know, go out in mm -hmm. the clubs, just practice, you know, social settings. Chit -chat. And uh, through that, I'm sure once you put yourself into like different fields based on your interests, let's say you're somebody who likes to, to rock climb. Well, if you put yourself in, you know, in areas of rock climbing, you're most likely going to find yourself a girl who also likes to do rock climbing. What do you guys think if, like, you say all the sex sex workers or, like, OnlyFans, porn star, like, just porn hub, like, all, all these things that are making money because of people masturbating, what would happen if, like, all of these people would stop masturbating? Stop choking the chicken? Yeah, because think about it. In the society, it's a lot of money. Like, all the sex work, I think 51% or something like that of all the whole internet is porn. Really? Yeah. It's crazy. So imagine if everyone stops and just get, concentrate on going to the gym and then doing them and then going to... But I have a hot take though because like the people that are like watching porn, there's a demographic in there where they are like the odd people. They're like, you know, the pedophiles. They're like the people that have like certain ways of thinking and viewing women, sex and other sexualities mm. so i wonder that if porn is like a thing that keeps them at bay mm. as opposed to going out there in the real world and, some and attempting shit. some other fucked up shit yeah. you know so yeah i think if porn were not to be around anymore i feel like there would be a lot of people doing things in the outside world where as if they have porn available to them kind of keeps them contained yeah and instead keeps, of doing that they'll just yeah so i mean so i don't think it's good to obviously overuse anything Mm -hmm. such as porn if you want to watch it every once in a while sure but even then how I much think is too much for me every day I would say it's too much yeah every two days like more than like three times a week I think it's too much once a week I think it's fine well think about it what were you guys doing when you guys were younger and you didn't have access to porn were you jerking off as often no, I probably not, no, right? You got we were outside. playing outside. We we're outside yeah. doing sports. We we're being interactive with the outside world and keeping yeah. ourselves busy, right? Yeah. Now, like having accessibility with our phone, a hundred gigs now, right? <laughs> like you could watch porn literally anytime, anywhere you want, you know. Yeah. Just open Twitter. Also, you know, Twitter is insane. So Twitter I just, porn is the best. Though. So I I just feel that like, I mean, if you're not keeping yourself busy in other ways, I think anything more than like once a week is like let's be honest yeah. like i don't know for you guys but like 80 percent of the time if i masturbate is because i'm bored not because i actually was I, horny as fuck i think usually people use it as a to sleep you know also, you're, you're yeah. bored and you can't sleep and you're like might as well get that post nut and just you know mm. pass out after totally yeah. agree good the 80 to 85 percent in my case rarely i'm like i'm so horny i, I want to yeah i want to jerk off it's yeah. literally because i'm bored mm. I try to like reduce it as much as possible. Is that why he got paper towel like uh, in his room? Well, you know the no, the toilet roll. No, it's because he blows his nose ninety times per day. Oh. That is kind of true, but it's also because I'm I fucking. Saw it. And I was like, I was wondering. Wait, you use paper towels when you fuck? Yeah, I've always used paper. towel. Paper towel, like the brown one. You guys one? use towel? The brown one? The brown one. Are you okay? It's just paper a, towel. The, the, no, that's a brown paper towel. Paper towel is like. Uh, the normal one, yeah. The one I wipe my like ass with. Bounty? What? The one you you mean toilet paper? Toilet paper. Yeah. Paper toilet towels paper. is bounty. Exactly. Oh, I don't have that in my room. What are you talking about? You have toilet paper in your room. Yes, exactly. He said paper towel. He didn't. Why do you? No. What does that have to do with sex? Paper though? toilet and toilet right. paper on. is the same shit. Hold on, hold on. What does that have to do with sex? Toilet paper? Yeah. Well, why come? I have to clean it. So you use toilet paper to clean yes. it. Come. Not a towel? No. A towel? Because towel, you have to fucking clean it after. <laughs> yeah, towel, but you're wasting toilet paper that you have to go buy every single time you run so out what, of So you put your paper. towel with your clothes? Well, first of all, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you see? But no, no, because, well, first off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's crazy. Well, I'm going to be blunt. First off, I'm not inside, one. And two, I use wipes. You're not, not inside? Yeah. Oh, I oh, you like know what you're talking about when you jerk off. No, he's talking about sex. Yeah, he says, you I... asked me why there's there's toilet paper. Okay, you use toilet paper. And he said, I blow my nose and I fuck. Yeah. And I said, why do you use toilet paper when you fuck? Okay, when you I don't fuck, come you don't use toilet paper, bro. Yes. 
That's weird. You use a towel. And you use t- I, a hot, I don't use warm a t- towel. What the fuck? I use I use a towel if I come outside, but if I come yeah. inside, it's baby wipes to clean up. That is crazy. I don't do all of that. Wait, if you if you come inside, you use baby wipes? Yeah. Well, she uses baby wipes. She'll, I don't check all that. She'll just go to the bathroom and that's it. it baby wipes. Is and I don't changer. come inside. You I don't? don't? Never. Are you crazy? I don't live this li- this lifestyle. <laughs> gonna, you live dangerously. Yeah, I don't live this dangerous <laughs> lifestyle. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 Who's here talking? Who are you laughing, bro? <laughs> Hey. But in my in, in one of my previous relationships, it was like, like for years, it was just pull out. Okay, yeah, right. Oh, okay, me, it's been years, pull out or nothing. Pull, pull out, game strong. Oh you, my, you my, guys, you guys ever like uh, risky or like uh, scares? No, I don't for like sure. that. Oh, if, if I, 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 you I like if it, I, if it happened, if it happened. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was a father for five weeks. I told you already. Yes. Of she course, lost, you were. She lost the. Oh fuck! Yeah, it was a miscarriage. Yeah. Damn. That's why I don't come inside because the only time I did, I'm very fertile. Yeah, and it, and and it happened it happened to me too. It was like like one of the first instances was, you know, we had sex literally the first time and felt pregnant. Boom. Yeah. So wow. that was my scare. So then now my pull out game is heavily strong. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> wait. I don't even wait because you know you you could feel like the pre. Yeah. Uh, yeah and then yeah. the actual come. I don't yeah. even wait until I feel the pre. Oh. Anyways, move on on the subject because now we're talking about the toilet paper that you got in your room. What was the subject? Um, about what well, we were porn, talking about the only yeah. porn, whatever, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Um, and basically, someone had submitted a question. By the way, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this episode. Basically, these are submitted suggestions that we got from fans. Can I have? Oh no, she vu un filet de bave. Guys, collé sur ton truc. So these were um, these were. Have you seen how he's drinking water? Yes. Like a like there's a it's a biberon bro. No, it it's like, like this. no, it's like a titty. It's like a titty. Can you demonstrate, please? It's like you know, like you guys can't see it, but I'm moving my tongue around it. That's he had weird. to mention <laughs> it. He had he had to mention it for the camera. He had. Uh, you guys don't know it because you can't see it. I don't want to see it. Continue. Uh, Sometimes yeah. I feel like spitting on it too. Okay, give me the, the, the give it. Yeah, somebody had asked like, how would you guys, you know, go about finding a relationship? Let's let, let let's answer like one at a time. Finding a relationship. So, so no. So what would like what would you do if you were looking to be in a relationship and you wanted to like put yourself out there in the world? And I'm going first. Yeah. What would I do? I just make a post on Instagram. I'm looking for a girlfriend. No, okay, you so wouldn't. Don't do I that. actually wouldn't. No, no, no. Wouldn't. I, 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 okay, I so I'd hold on. Anything. Let's let let's let's put it this way, okay? For the ninety-five percent of people who don't have a social media presence, mm-hmm. who have to rely on old school stuff. On old school or even if DMing if they want to, just whatever like all the tools at their disposal, what would be the best way for the average person to go out there and get into a relationship? Guys or girls, doesn't matter. I'd say in your surroundings, like I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm gonna find my next girlfriend at the gym. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Enough. Like, let's say she's out there doing whatever, and I'll just be like, "Oh, I like, I like your shoes," and she's like, "Oh, thank you." And then next day, whatever. Oh, I like your shirt. Oh, where do you get all your stuff from? You know what I'm saying? Just start conversation from there, or just stuff that I, I like overall. I don't think I'm gonna find my girl at a club. Mm. You know, you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so for him, the gym. Well, actually, side note in that parentheses, like, what would you say? Because there's a lot of people that go to the gym. There's a lot of people that I'm sure that watch and are motivated by you or what you got going on, etc. Um, what do you guys think would be like the best way getting collectively all our riz together? If we put all our minds together, what would be the best way do you think to pick up a girl at the gym? At the gym, uh, for me, I think I would. Since we're no, for us, I would say I would watch her do a PR, a new PR. That's kind of creepy. And it's also hard to know what when when it's a PR. No, but like. Let's say let's say it's been it's not the first time you're seeing at the gym, right? You're okay. seeing a couple times, whatever. And then you see every She's time she like goes to the squat, fish. she does one plate and something, one plate, and then sometimes she goes for like three plates. Boom. Then I would I would say something like, damn, crazy, what'd you hit? 
or like what was three plates that's crazy you killed it today and then go on with my day like nothing else nothing creepy because i know at the gym with everything we've seen on the socials let's say so i would go this way and then the next like let's say the next time i see her yeah i would be like i don't know i think i either me would do the same pr she would do like the well my pr obviously yeah and which then, would be the same as hers and then i would say <laughs> <laughs> and then and then and then i i would say do you think you can do this challenge do you do like do you think you can do that yeah just just for it to have this little ego to just come up and be like i, I can think do this that is shit. ridiculous you think that's what he's saying yeah. is ridiculous you I, you can't do that do you know why i would still do it and i know it would work You don't okay. ever come up to girls at okay, all. Okay, yes, but uh, this so is no, how you, can what you you're say saying. It doesn't work, bro. What he's it saying is, works. okay, let's okay, say so she hold does. On, let me give my answer, and then you be the judge since you're the since you're the general. Okay, 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 but look, he never goes up to girls. So okay, how would but, he know? No, I'm just saying, like, but, his doesn't but work. But he bro. knows like the gym, like dynamic. Let's say. No, oh, okay. Like the the gym philosophies and how girls work. Hold on, let me give my answer, and then you could, and then you could. Yeah, take yeah, take that rain check. I'm coming for you. So I do agree with what you're saying, and obviously the best way to do it is to be the as you know the least amount of creepy as possible. Yeah, right. I'm not saying that was creepy, but basically, um, I think it would be to do like a like a nonchalant remark. Mm -hmm. You know, like if she has like a sick fit on, that like obviously girls will buy something that matches the top, that matches the bottom, whatever, a gym shark apparel, whatever, right? Sick shoes, like you know, it's a sick you know workout fit. Um, or whatever it is, but like nonchalant, where you just compliment and keep walking. Yeah. Okay. You know, as I said, you, you yeah. like as you're walking, he's like, yeah, like, like those are some sick shoes, by the way, and you just keep going. You know. I agree. Well, it's basically like the same thing I said. No, I'm. I said PR, bro. I'm coming back for your PR shit. Okay, go. Okay, you said my wrist. Bro, said, well, wait, wait. Okay. Before you say anything, wait, wait, three, two, one, fight. No, no, no. Wait, Before you, you say was, anything, you know why? Because you said, "Oh, she's gonna do her PR one plate, and then oh, I'm gonna do the same thing." Okay, my fucking PR is four plates, twenty-five. Oh, can you do this? I'm not you, bro. I'm not doing fucking. I don't know seven okay, plates. Okay, so your your thing doesn't work for everyone. Uh, uh, not everyone is built like you. Is doing seven plates on the fucking PR. I don't do seven plates. Oh no, yeah. This on the squat. Oh, okay, so okay, but, I'm probably more common than most of the people and doing maybe two plates of squat. Okay. And then most girl can do two plates too because they're strong in the legs. So you you know me, dude. Exactly. <laughs> and and first of all. I, I don't go to the gym like that. I go to the gym, but I don't know as much as you. Right. But my Riz is 10 out of 10. Have, I, have, you, seen, <laughs> have you seen me fail? Have you seen me fail? Uh, no, because you never try. I do? Not. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Give me an example. And when I do try, Give I'm 100. You, 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 you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, as I talk. Okay, my answer now. So for him, it was to the gym, right? My location... Would and that's a hot topic. Ice cream and walk. <laughs> no, because you can't. What? That makes I'm no sorry. sense. No, yeah, you could if you go for ice cream alone. Oh yeah, I'm going alone. Yes, you. And could. then I'll see another alone. Yo, girl guys, with an ice don't cream. be shy to go to places alone. If you want to go to the movies yes, alone, that's fine. if you want to go to the restaurant alone, it's fine. If you want to go eat ice cream alone, it's fine. Right now, you're saying that it's not fine. That is not the topic. Yes. No, it's not. Okay, it's go, to keep, find someone. Okay, keep talking. Okay, so I was about to say hot topic, uh, hot to hot take. I mean, sorry, hot take. I would find my girl probably at, like, if you do a party, if you do a party, if, like, we're just going out with friends, and then there's a friend, a friend, a friend mm. of someone, and then I just meet someone. Yes, I know it is a hot take because you're, like, you're in a, like... A social setting? Social setting with alcohol involved and maybe whatever, whatever. And then it's not sometimes the best place. But I think for me... I mean, if I can go to those parties and be a nice gentleman, I can find my girl there too. She yeah, I don't think there's also. anything wrong with it because I think even if you go on a first date with a girl, I think there's nothing wrong with going for just drinks, mm. you know? No, but I was more talking about the setting because he was yeah. like, oh, because he just said like, I'm not, I'm never going to meet my girl at the club. I do agree in some type of way, but also like I could see my girl at the club I'm, for me. Yeah, I, I, I had you met. You could see your girl at the club, but I do I don't know. I don't know. It's just me. I had, I, had go, a, I had had like a good experience with a girl, at, like meeting a girl at the club. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And ended up becoming like into a relationship. And as to how we met and how we went about it and how we pursued um, like our relationship afterwards was very organic and nothing like what? I'm listening. And like nothing, nothing bad necessarily came out of it. Okay. So All my right. answer would be that. My answer would be like, like party group clubs setting. group setting mm. yeah having fun 
Yeah. Mm. I but I agree like on both takes. Like that's like for me I don't mind if there's alcohol involved because if anything like it kind of just like loosens people up so you mm. get to meet people and like in more like their normal selves whether yeah. like if you would meet someone like from DMs to face to face it's like you guys have like this awkwardness of not having ever spoke before mm -hmm. mm. you know so you have to like re-break the ice even if you guys spoke for like three weeks every day when you meet the person face to face it becomes a whole different dynamic you yeah, know it is. some people are a lot more like vocal on DMs and a lot more quieter in person or vice versa you or know? just they just right. become shy exactly you know, there's you yeah. gotta break that shyness well there's that presence right that you give off also like a certain energy too that can, might throw them off and then I also agree with your take because um what was your take again? The well, gym. gym. Yeah, so basically I agree with your take because I think if anybody wants to be anywhere with anyone, I think it's a good idea to put yourself in in hobbies that you enjoy doing because like we mentioned in other episodes, by doing that, you will already start off with um, similar, common. yeah, yeah you like common likes and dislikes, yeah. right? So you could base yourself off of that. You could become gym partners at first and then develop a relationship after that or you could pick up I don't know, fucking doing cer ceramics, pottery, it's called, sorry. Mm. You, you could do pottery or anything else of that nature. And then through that, you might just get to meet new people, new friends too. Facts. Facts. What's your take? That was my take. Oh, okay. <laughs> because you didn't give another <laughs> location. You just agreed on both of us. That's why I was like. Yeah, why? Well, because I, I agree. Like um, the way that I would have done it, like let's say no social media was around. I just like, you know. Like, let's say for me example, go I'd, I'd go into the gym. Yeah, I'd go to I'd go to car meets. Most accurate thing you ever said. For sure, absolutely. Not, I've said yeah. Okay. I'd go to conventions. I travel. I do anything that would just put me into contact with new people. You know. Yeah. He would go on podcasts. I would go on. Yeah. Podcasts. Yeah. True. <laughs> that was long. That was delayed. That, that was, was delayed, delayed as, as fuck, shit. bro. Damn. Okay. That was so long. And then you have your partner. You have your partner. Mm. When do you know when can you move in with your partner? Answer yeah, fast. Answer. How many? How long? I uh, let's say I already live alone. Or good, oh, right good, now. Good question, but no. Like let's you say. You get what I mean? Like right now? Like let's right now? I'm, just right now? Your situation right now? You meet a girl. I would wait to to have my own uh, little place before before to move with exactly, her exactly because basically if I have my own place like my apartment or whatsoever if she's always in my apartment and she already has her stuff here and she's literally like always with me mm -hmm. like at a point after like well a couple months I'd be like okay well, you know what, do you want exactly compared to let's say oh now I'm, I don't have my own place I'm like oh do you want to move in together and just start from, from raw you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. it's like harder so, so I'd then. wait to have my own place before anything but it, it take like uh, probably like um, two or three months of her really being here all the time every day yeah because okay. you know before it's like i see her once a week I, I, oh. she comes to my crib like once or twice a week or maybe three i bet i, I won't ask her then but as soon as it's like every day type of thing and if we actually look like we live together might as well live together yeah i think it's easier to transition if like one person's been living alone and then mm -hmm. their partner is always there every single day it's easier to just say like okay well like you're here every day might as well like move in if you want to yeah. and then kind of break down the finances that way but i get i get what you mean though and i never actually like thought about that until you mentioned it but the the, the i think i could say almost everybody or everybody that i know that were in relationships but living at like each other's parents' house yeah always took a long time to move in with each other mm -hmm. and like only moved in like in their you know early 20s or even later 20s together yeah you know for the first time where uh people that have been living alone I've seen them move in together a lot faster because it was a lot easier to spend like a lot of time together, be there every single day. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, well, like if you're going to be here all the time, might as well just move in, you know? Exactly. Mm. So I've seen people be together for like 10 years and then move in with each other. But I've also seen people be together for like six months to a year and then agree that it's just better out that they'd move in yeah. now, you know? Yeah. And then you see if it works or it doesn't work. I feel like the 10 years is always a bit little, a little safer. Because you actually know the person. No, okay, not, maybe not 10 yeah. years. But like it, I feel like the longer it takes in a way, it's the safer it is because you're sure that she's going to be the one and she's going to stick with you, you know? Instead of like it's, six it's months. It's still tough, man. You you don't really know someone until you moved in with mm. them. I didn't uh, believe in that philosophy until it actually happened. And yeah. then when it actually happened, you 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 really start to realize what, you, what annoys you about someone's behaviors. Yeah. Not the person. But certain behaviors that they have that you never witnessed before because 
Like, let's say if I always go to my girlfriend's house, I'm still always going to be on my best behavior. I'm not going to be leaving stuff, you know, lying around or whatever. Some people might do that, but yeah. a lot of people don't do that. But then, like, when you start becoming, when you start cohabitating with one another, mm -hmm. then you start to see where the person is like when you guys are not together. Because you guys are both, like, super comfortable. So it's more open to, oh, let's say I'm going to leave my stuff over there. Right. It doesn't matter because I usually do, you know? But it's also like that, like, if, let's say, for example, like, you live with your, like, if someone lives with their parents, and like they are used to like the parents cleaning up after them and cooking mm. for them and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you know, you go with your girlfriend on dates and you guys cook together sometimes, but that's like on occasion mm -hmm. to make an activity. But when you're always living with that person, you'll most likely tend to how you used to be when you used to live at your parents' house, which is like yeah. to be Food cooked after, there. to be looked after and not have to do anything. And then you'll expect that in your relationship once you move in with each other. Yeah, that's, that's actually skills that you should have yeah like you know cooking and cleaning and stuff like that well, some before sometimes depends on your parents i get it but i depends think you're raised, you know? yeah no matter what i i get that you're raised like that your parents like to clean cook whatever but like i think it's something that everyone should know you know even though i know they do it they'll do it but let's say that one time like oh i, I want to learn how to cook or learn how to clean how to wash my my stuff whatever i think it's just like basic life skills because your parents were not always going to be there sadly you know what is things that your parents gave to you that you know it's going to be beneficial 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 yeah. on like you living alone with your partner oh cooking so for me 100 percent cooking i love to eat way too much not to know how to cook you know what i'm saying agreed so cooking for me is like uh it's a must i feel like it's also like a great activity to like cooking with your girl or mm. whatever but for yourself also, it's a, you know what you want, you know what you like, so you just do whatever you want and it's, you know, it's going to be good. He, he, but he would probably be a breeze to, to, to live with. I feel like you're very, like, easygoing, very, like, uh, very understanding too. And I feel like even if, let's say, for example, your girl was living by herself for the past three years yeah. and let's say you've never moved out before, I feel like you would have an easy time adapting because you're so like you're open to criticism you're open to like listening to other people and you're open to learn mm. so i don't like in some cases like i think guys will become like very defensive if like a girl is like teaching them something yeah you know but i feel like you because you'd be so open to it if she kind of like tells you like how like the dynamic works when living alone i think you'd be like oh like i didn't know that like that's like like yeah like you'll, you'll take you'll be more willing to take notes and then like always wanting to better yourself every time for your partner. Yeah. Where I feel like a lot of the guys, it's more like a hit to the ego. And mm. I think guys tend to move out later than girls do. Yeah. yeah. I think guys have like a harder time being explained to certain things to do. A lot of guys don't know how to, you know, uh, well, okay, do the dishes is one thing, but like, you know, how to sort clothes, mm. you know, White, how dark, to look at the labels colors. and to make sure like what kind of clothes you can mix together, mix match colors, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of guys don't know how to do that. Or some guys will use like the same uh, product for everything mm -hmm. when there's specific products for glass tables and windows and countertops and toilets you know what i mean for real so um so uh, like guys are a little bit like more like careless i think when it comes to those things yeah uh, i think a lot of guys have been like raised with like this like mama boys yeah kind of mindset which when it goes into like living with your partner they have that struggle of like understanding like hey like you have to contribute, and there's certain things that need to be done in order for it to actually be clean. You can't, you can't use a fucking uh, toilet cleaner to clean, you know, your whole house. You know. Mm. Yeah, it's common understanding. Like uh, just communication with your uh, partner itself. It's just what you got to do to know the boundaries. Boundaries of like what she, what she wants, what you want, and just like um, if you got to put your ego aside, because like you got to be open to, to learn from the other person, you know? Because if, if you do this like that, oh, damn, I might as well just try it out. And then if it's actually more um, um, efficace, uh, efficient, and more efficient, I might as well just do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's never that deep. Mm -hmm. That's well, how I see it. What would you say um, your thing that your parent taught you that now you're going to live alone? It's like your partner won't have to worry because you have that. Or you raised in a certain way. If I'm if I'm being completely honest, I'm not even gonna lie. It, my parents didn't teach me any of that because I kind of left without them necessarily knowing that I was gonna be moving out. It kind of just happened like organically that I ended up moving out. Mm -hmm. I'd say honestly, if anything, it was probably my ex girlfriend that taught me a lot about uh, about like how to conduct myself when mm -hmm. living with someone. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. which like I I owe a lot to that relationship in in that sense that. 
like at first I was like that, like, like my, like obviously my, like my mom was like very like, um, she would tend to, to me and the kids a lot, right? Mm-hmm. She was uh, home with us often. And, you know, everything was also always taken care of at us at home. And um, I think like being young and moving in at a young age with someone, it was like a young relationship dynamic. I wasn't understanding that certain things needed to be done around the household, which, you know, I was made clear early on in the relationship that there is, you know, Stuff that you need. It, that's the stuff that you need to pull your own weight, you know. Yeah. And even though I wanted to, it didn't come as naturally to me as it to her, and it did put a strain on the relationship. And we ended up breaking for we ended up breaking up because I was lacking in those areas when it came to like common courtesy around the household and picking up after myself and blah blah blah. blah. Uh, but that pushed me to to learn and to realize quick to where I'm at now. Now it's like that's facts. I mean, now you guys see it's like his the room, the, like. It's- Right, Dude. like you guys see, whenever like I love just like resetting my things all the time. Yeah. You know, I love making sure it's clean and stuff like that. I love having people over too, so I want them to also come into like a clean home. And I was mm-hmm. never like that before, never, never, never. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. I owe that to my past relationship. Yeah, and in part of it's who I it made me who I am today about that. So not my parents, but it could also be past relationships. Mm. How about you? Mine would be I, what? No. My mine would be. And you guys know it, cleaning. Cleaning. Definitely. I'm a fucking clean freak. And you know that. Ideal, bro. You were cooking. Who was cleaning? Yeah. Right? True. At the villa. Uh, the reason why is because my parents always, like, were super intense on cleaning the house and, like, like whatever, doing the dishes, doing the fucking trash, whatever it is. So then now I know like wherever I live or my partner, I'll fucking do everything and it really doesn't bother me. Like for me, doing the dishes has doesn't do anything to me. Yeah, same. I'll just put a beat and I'll enjoy just actually just doing it. Like yeah, yeah. quick vibe, whatever. Yeah. No problem for me. Uh same thing, trash, whatever. Just I like cleaning. I think it's uh I don't know what's the word, but therapeutic. Cl- yeah. Mm. It's just you're I don't think about anything. Or usually I overthink but in a good sense. I'll think of ideas, whatever. Yeah. While. I'm just in my mood. So yeah. Damn. So that that would mean for will be that. And I'm also very open to cooking. Well I'm, I I know how to cook, but not like that. So I wouldn't say cooking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my dad, my in my household, my dad is cooking. My mom doesn't cook. Mm. So then I was like more in like, okay, the man has to cook. So then I was learning, learning. some couple of things or whatever, but I'm not like necessarily the best, but I'm learning. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. That's good. So I'll cook you clean. Well, I was you like that dishes. for much. Yeah, facts. I was actually doing this all the time. I was cooking and he was washing all the dishes. And Jacob was doing the dishes. Yeah. But, I, but yeah. I, like, I like doing the dishes though. I like, um, I, I prefer, like I'm, like even if I have a dishwasher, I'd much rather do the dishes by yeah, hand yeah. than Old put them in a dishwasher. It's a little bit Same. Same. So, uh, my year would would be two years. Two years before you move in with your partner. So you got to be with your partner two years At and then years. move in with her. For me, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Because you know when they say like one year is like uh you know if after one year you know if it's gonna work or not, and in two years it's like it's been long enough fucking the same partner being with the same partner every day blah, 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 all this yes you don't know your partner by heart but i think there's no time for that it's mm-hmm. eight years seven years whatever it doesn't change anything but one year i think is a little bit too fast and then a second year completely uh you see your partner way more not physically but i mean like you see them for who they are probably mm-hmm. you don't know some people can be liars for three years why are, not are you okay yeah I'm actually really hungry, but I'm I'm uh, I'm working I'm on too. my on my grumpiness when I'm hungry. Well, perfect. He'll cook and you'll clean. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but actually, you that know, was disrespectful. but you know, fun fact. Actually, um, I don't like. Although I was actually like, my mom would do a lot for like the family as a whole, like not me specifically. I actually started doing chores like the youngest out of the siblings. So like every Sunday, so like w- at least once a week, mm. we, w- me, my brother, my sister, like we'd be given a list of what to do. Like, and it was like, dust the whole house, Damn. the floors, every toilet, do all the, everyone's beds, uh, you know, clean all the clothes. And I was, I think I must have started maybe when I was like, I'd say the range was like anywhere between like, n- like nine to 12 years old, maybe even younger. 
So I was like the youngest one to have started. My sister was obviously the, like, the, the oldest. Mm -hmm. And we would always have to do chores all the time, all the time, all the time. And, and me, I'm like, a, I'm like a nine year old, 10 year old kid. Mm -hmm. And like, you're making him on a Sunday, like do all these chores. So I was, I, I was obviously like a pain in the ass yeah. mm. to have to help around, you know? Yeah. But like, again, like I have ADD, I'm, I'm 10, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, I want to go watch SpongeBob, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, so I don't know why I had so much difficulty afterwards, like adapting to when I moved in with someone, I guess it was like, I kind of like wanted to like rebel because like I was forced to do that when I was a kid and hated to do it. I guess yeah. growing so up, I hated to do it even more, but now I love doing it. Like now it's like, I do this. And if it's not like pristine, mm, I do like, <laughs> See, I can't wait to have little kids, little, little slaves, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that was an episode <laughs> of the Sergio Talks podcast. It's been your boy, Sergio Talks. It's been your boy, Matt. It's been your boy, Carl. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Five stars on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon. Don't forget to check out our Patreon because we have another episode coming out this Friday. It's on the gang. Carl, three reasons why they should, three reasons why they should subscribe to Patreon. Because it's funny as fuck, it's raw, and I'm shirtless.